welcome to another jungle video, which will be the first of a new genre and era of League of Legends videos, the tutorial montage. In this first edition, we are taking a look at the Wrath of Rast. The glory of the Shadow Assassin has been prevalent in Season 9. E-buffs, an assortment of quality life changes that give you better control over which form you want to choose. And you have also no doubt seen the top of the ladder, specifically in Korea, with people throwing around the full lethality blue cane and often used by people smurfing to stack up clickbait YouTube titles. People take one look at his luscious locks flowing in the wind, the fact that he's an Instagram e-boy with abs and no real muscle captivates the blind. Well, I'm here to tell you that the best overall choice for true power, for true muscle, is still to go red and with Rast. I mean, look at this. Does Blue Cane even lift? Not even one 10,000 HP dummy lifted off the ground compared to what? A total of 40,000 health points elevated with ease. All raw, all natural. So you're probably wondering, how does the tutorial and the montage thing work? Well, there wasn't really an intro in this video, and I figured I'd at least introduce a little bit about the Shadow Assassin. Cain comes, but his lift is a ruination. Okay, so look, first things first, runes. Both forms can easily swing around with electrocute. Blue Cane loves the harvest, which actually does work on Rust as well, so she ups your damage spike later in the game, but his true power is definitely with the Conqueror rune. Already you have three choices to two, and you can literally win with all three of those on Rust, either taking electrocute for base form Cane, getting a bit more damage early, which of course ups the lack of damage from the harvest rune if you are going Shadow Assassin, it can definitely secure you a few kills as you see from this Kled top lane, but due to the passive changes, we can have Rast form earlier and he will fit into most team comps. You can already choose Conqueror and optimize him from Champion Select. It doesn't require any stacking or scaling and the other risks of Dark Harvest, which as I mentioned does have a lot less damage in the early game, but mostly it's about when you get red form and you have Conqueror up, the synergy, the power spike, it is absolutely devastating for the enemy team. And before all the Dark Harvest Shadow Assassin people tell me how you can delete Squishy super quickly and Harvest will have immense damage later, aside from having a team with 5 non-CC Squishy targets, Rast will still be able to give you much stronger survivability, the ability to disrupt, and yes that's the second point, team comp compatibility. All Assassins hate Janna, but Rast mains know that the best way to stop her is to knock her up. So when you take your strong rune association, your strong ability to slide into way more team compositions, you also have to consider your purpose within the game and how you can be able to carry it. Remember the goal is to win, to climb, to improve, to affect the map, to affect the outcome of the game. And being a true disruptor, you can either peel with your CC, which is a clear advantage in the kit comparison, because having CC gives you the ability to deal with the situation when you yourself get CC'd. You're going to have a rough time if you don't get your damage off a Shadow Assassin, but as Rust, you can still take someone down with you because of your innate healing, your percentage HP damage, using that CC to get out of bad spots and turn them into setups for Orny teammates. 
You can use it as hard engage for 1v1s and combined all of this just makes him one of the best champions in the game at turning bad situations into good ones and to be blunt his kid is much more forgiving to the point that this footage taken from a deceased arthritic lamppost shows you that even someone in that condition can make such a hideous play still get the kill still have brain lag on the w and still get out alive kane is very slippery and with your healing and your cc it makes rust even more slippery Yes, yes, I'm aware of Shadow Assassin and his E, but being slippery isn't just about how pretty you look when you're flying through the air. So while the Shadow Assassin has the advantage in pure mobility, the pure ability to flank back lines, without a doubt Rust is still able to navigate around the map with ease, you just need to know how to use his E properly, like challenges. You need to unleash your imagination. You dream way too small when you use your E, because everyone just uses it around the one wall they want to get through, instead of setting it up like in these ganks, this is pre-formed ganks, where you can chain together the wall traveling way more effectively than most people do. I mean, granted, flying through the walls as the Shadow Assassin is definitely very fun, and I think he's annoyed I mentioned Shadow Assassin so much, so, you know, have some more montage. So combining all of these things together is his itemization, and this is the key takeaway, and that's Rust simply lives longer. He can adapt better. He can dish out damage while surviving and adapting his role to the need of the game. This is the most crucial thing that you need to understand when you are trying to climb, when you are trying to win. Have a look at my Kane Differences video that compared high elo to low elo Shadow Assassin players. The finesse and nuance required to truly excel at that playstyle is lost on the average player. You think you want to be the assassin to hard carry in low elo, but the reality is that is a smurf ideology. Once you know how to outwit the enemy team because they just have no idea, they don't have experience enough to deal with you. You still have to learn as a low elo player how to carry with brute force. And so having a champion that will be more forgiving while also giving you the possibility of insane outplay potential is the ultimate solution. Put your itemization to the test. You can go full bruiser, full damage, full fighter, and still never die while being the hard carry of the team. But if you really do need to live longer and survive your teammates inting, which you will need to do, you have the option of those tank items to go with your kit and navigate those hard fought wins. Finally, the thing that really makes Raz the better cane form for the average player for overall performance is that he's one of the best champions in the game when he does get his form. And the reason for that is any game can be turned from terrible to a win in a matter of one or two plays. One or two plays that are only possible because of who you are. You can have nothing in the early game. You can be behind. You can be one and four. You have a delayed form. But knowing you're going to be choosing that red form will keep you level headed. If you had 100% decided on going blue cane in lobby and you get permanent invaded, you don't get to stack your harvest, the enemy team come ends up being a nightmare for you to deal with. Sure, you might get some picks and maybe you get a little bit fed, but the chances you can really thrive with a bad team comp and with your team being complete acorns, it's much lower if you go blue. Red form will let you negate these effects because as soon as you get there, no matter what the state of the game, if you can make that one play that destroys the enemy team and gives you a baron, maybe you ace them, maybe you basically get a pentacle by yourself, maybe you just clean up enough that they can't end, you can still split push if you need to. You can be the one alive to make the plays and take the game into your own hands. And when you want to win, climb, and let's face it, have fun, being alive to do all those things is kind of the most important step. So when people ask me and tell me, hey, why don't you just play full AD Warwick you can easily carry? Well, you could up until the mid game, or you could just play full fighter, red cane, and get 200% better in the late game than with anything else remotely equivalent. If you have that knowledge about how to come back from a deficit, how to close out games, how to use early jungle roots to get fed off specific champion guides to defeat the enemy, 
then you have all the knowledge you need to use Rust in any situation and you know that you can always end up carrying. And there you have it, my 5 reasons and the little bit of montage thrown in of why you should go red instead of blue. I hope you enjoyed this new style of video and it was entertaining. I wanted to combine a bit of montage with tutorials with a bit of fun and I hope that you were still able to learn something and enjoy it. Please do hit the thumbs button, share it to spread the word, comment below your favorite cane build and also to hate on Shadow Assassin players. Join the channel to gain access to perks, not G2 perks, better perks. Consider subscribing if you loved it and want more and as always I will see you all in the next tutorial slash video.